Hey everyone, Halim here from Village Food Tours. As always, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe down below and hit the bell so you get notified when our next video drops. Today I am in historic Coco Village, one of our favorite places to run tours, and we are checking out the Porsche House. Now the Porsche House um, is probably one of my favorite historical stops on our food tours. If you didn't know, our food tours do include a little bit of history. <music> So it is extremely hot out. Forgive the sweat. Um, picked a great day to film. So we're going to take a little look inside the Porsche house as well as the outside. I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history. Um, we're going to leave some stuff out. That way you still got something to book our tours for. So let's take a walk in. favorite parts about Porsche House and one of the cool little facts about it is when it was created they quarried all the coquina rock to build the whole outer facade of the building so if you look um, as well as Mrs. Porsche she um, being an avid car player she wanted to have the um, card symbols put in the coquina rock so if you look there you've got a heart you've got a club and then we've also got a spade and then on the other side we have a other heart Now we'll talk a little bit more about the building, but one thing that really stood out to me this time I visited was this old switchboard that actually they got from the Brevard Hotel, which was located just south of where the Porsche house is on the Indian River Road. The hotel was demolished when the Oleander Point condominium was built. Um, just a really cool switch controller. It's valued at $3,000. The Porsche house was built in 1916. The expansive double staircase with squared spindles on its balustrade lead from the first floor foyer to the bedrooms upstairs, which are being used as offices at this present time. The staircase is made of teak, the floor oak, and the wainscoting and trim are cedar. When the Coquina Stone Mansion was new, a warehouse and packaging plant stood nearby on the banks of the Indian River, which came up close to the back of the house. The packaging house was known in Coco as the Fruit Laundry. The groves were on North Merritt Island. Transportation for their goods was by railroad from Coco. The fruit was brought across river by the Porsche packaging house boat called the Falcon, the, that docked behind the packaging house. Edward Porsche came to this area from his home in South Carolina around 1876. After a short stay in Coco, he purchased property on Merritt Island and settled in an area once called Courtney with his mother and sister known as Miss Julia. In 1885, he married Byrena Peck of Atlanta and began to raise citrus, fruit, and a family. In 1895, the Porsches moved into the three-story wood frame house built by Byrena's father, William Peck, located where the Coco Civic Center now stands. Byrena de designed a two-story mansion to be built on, of native cocaine rock with an unusual decoration in the house's eaves. Now, Mr. Porsche, being a well-off orange grower, he wanted to make sure to have his fruit stand out from other people. So what he did, he actually invented a machine to wash the mold and the mildew off of the oranges and his citrus, as well as a stamp. So um, it's rumored that he was one of the first ones to actually create um, the stamp that you'd see on your fruits. So um, he used to have his citrus shipped in from Merritt Island to right where we're coming up here. So inside the house, it was their packaging plant, and this is where... And 
if you look, it's just a really cool setup they have back here still. was put together by Coco Village Main Street, partnered with Keith Brevard Beautiful. So. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on next week's episode. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, 